hello everyone how are you welcome to another question and answer session for mrcs exam this is the question a middle-aged lady is brought to the clinic by her husband who has noted a change in her appearance she finds removal of rings difficult her shoe size has changed and photograph shows a marked change in her appearance what E of the following is most likely to be identified on neurological examination so first of all we have to find out the key point from the question that uh, the lady she finds removal of the ring is difficult and changes in appearance removal of rings difficult that means her finger enlarges her shoe size change that means her foot also enlarges and photogram shows mark change in her appearance so there is actually the change of the growth so we have to find out the neurological findings of the patient and the options options are binasal hemianopia bitemporal hemianopia inferior quadrianopia homonymous hemianopia and unilateral loss of the vision so let's see some of the slide first of all here we can see this is the pituitary gland and this pituitary gland is uh, responsible for different type of development of the body first of all this is the breast development in case of female here we can see then it is the adrenal cortex and this adrenal cortex also has the direct influence from the pituitary gland then thyroid gland this thyroid gland uh, uh, through the signal of the thyrotrophic uh, uh, th thyroid stimulating hormone it uh, causes the release of the thyroid gland then here we can see the bone bone and the bone development and other organ development the um, growth hormone from the pituitary gland is very very essential then we can see this ovary and testis so development of the ovary and testis is, uh, has also the influence from the pituitary gland uh, through the thyroid uh, through the follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone also here we can see it also has action on the kidney and action of the uterus so the growth hormone and other hormone released from the pituitary gland and the growth hormone is responsible for growth and development of the bones and soft tissue of the body so any tumor uh, uh, this causes increased growth hormone secretion from the pituitary gland it causes enlargement of the all type of the bone and soft tissue of the body and here we can see this is the pituitary gland and tumor pituitary tumor and the optic asthma is located just above this pituitary gland so any tumor in the pituitary gland may compress the optic asthma from below and causes neurological deficit and we know that the optic asthma uh, to which the optic nerve passes so the optic nerve will be affected and in case of that type it will develop by temporal hemianopia so during neurological examination of a patient who has changed her appearance and difficult to removal of the rings and shoe size change and photograph shows marked change in her appearance that means the growth hormone is highly increased and in this case the tumor of the op pituitary gland it compresses the optic chiasma and causes bitemporal hemianopia thank you all